everyone so happy new year's um today is january 1st so this is the day where everyone's um new year's resolutions are in full swing so in honor of that i'm going to do a video sharing my new year's resolutions with you guys um i kind of have the same one every year and i'm thinking this is the year I think this might be the last year that I put it on my list and because it's changed um, I'll get more into that when I go to it I'm gonna do that one last because it's the most common and yeah so I'm just gonna get right into it and I'm going to share my New Year's resolutions I believe I have five number one get an office job I currently work in retail um, I quit my job. I'm still working like two days a week right now. I quit halfway, like near the beginning of December, and I said I'd stick it out for December, working like three days, three, four days a week, um, just to help out, because it's the busiest time of the year in retail especially, um, but with my injury of my Achilles tendon, I have a lot of troubles actually working and I get tired so easily so I need a more relaxed chill job so as sad as it is I need to sit on my butt all day pretty much like I don't need to sit on my butt all day but I don't know office job is the type where you can get up and do stuff but you're sitting in that chair for most of the day which I personally need so I'm going to get an office job I'm really 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 nervous but the town I'm from you make a lot of money so I'm probably gonna see like a five dollar increase in my wage if I get an office job up to five dollars at least like I don't know I think I can make three to five dollars more on average so that'll be nice and that'll help me get somewhere in my life number two I move I would say moving out on my own um, in 2010, December 2010, I moved out on my own. I lived by myself um, until April. Then my sister moved in with her boyfriend. They lasted a month. Then I got a roommate, and we lived together from May until December. He moved out in the beginning of January, and then at the end of January, I moved in with my boyfriend and his mom and his sister. In September, you know, my boyfriend moved into my mom's apartment because she offered us rent free to help save up. So we currently living here. So it's like currently my mom, me, my boyfriend, and my sister, and our two cats plus my mom's cat, all in a two bedroom apartment. Yes, it's rent free, but I need my own space because currently I've had two, like the last two places I've lived, I've been cramped in a small room with me and my boyfriend no room for all our stuff we have a storage unit which has most of our stuff and it's just it's kind of hectic so that is our main goal we're hoping i told him before my birthday which is march 28th we will have our own place so yeah that's that and three would be get my license i currently have my learners i need to get my n my novice so i can drive and we will probably get a vehicle after that next I want to get somewhere with my YouTube videos. I don't know exactly how I'm going to get there, but I would actually, I enjoy doing it personally and it means so much to me and it just makes sense because my two career objectives were acting and backup was esthetician. I haven't gone to school for it yet. That got all messed up in 2010. It's a whole other video. Um, but acting is a big passion so it's like being in front of the camera beauty all in one so I don't know I just finally got my Mac so I can edit videos and yeah so I'm hoping to get somewhere with the, my videos this year by the end of the year have some kind of I don't know like I have subscribers already and like thank you for any of you who have subscribed to me because like, I honestly never thought anyone would actually subscribe to me. You, never mind watch my videos. Like, I was just putting them out there just to put them out there for myself. Like, for others. But if no one watched, I'd still do it. Because it just feels good to be in front of a camera for me. 
so there's that and lastly which is number five the most common one ever that I've been doing the last couple of years is to do with my weight so it's not lose weight it's not be 120 pounds it's not this it's not that it's not a specific weight it is to be at a healthy and comfortable weight for myself I've recently like done so many crazy things with my dieting and I've gotten skinny unhealthily I've you know I've just I've fluctuated so much with my weight in the last couple of years um I've just I don't know it's I'm not very smart about it so this year I um I'm gonna finish up my ideal protein with the food I have probably gonna do ideal protein for another month then I'm going to go off of that I'm not gonna finish it because I just don't have what it takes to finish that diet I'm not gonna lie like it's harder than you think and I personally don't follow it to a T I have whatever I want for dinner half the time so yeah I'm gonna f do that for about a month and then I'm going to start going to the gym um to actually bought some um, long stretchy pants for working out and yeah so it's not about me feeling fat it's not about me it's just I want to be healthy and comfortable with my body like I don't want to be lying about with my boyfriend and be like don't want him to see me because I'm gross like I have the biggest body issues ever like I always have they're my biggest issue and I am so self-conscious when it comes to my body and I'm not even that big like I'm a size 27 28 in jeans right now extra small small in tops um earlier this summer I was a 26 27 in jeans I like gained some weight and now I'm back to like 27 28 but um like I said I've been fluctuating a lot but I'm not as big as you would think with the way I am with my body like I th the way I act you would swear as 300 pounds the way I feel about myself so I need to be in a better relationship with my weight and my body so that is something I need to work on this year and it's just I really need to do that for me and it affects so much just by being so self-conscious and so everything like my boyfriend he loves me for me he loves my body like he makes me feel good about myself but the way I am that's not good enough and that's sad because I have the worst relationship with my body and I need to work on that so yeah those are my five New Year's resolutions and I am hoping to stick to those and I'm really excited I feel like 2013 is gonna be my year um yeah I'm, I'm just really excited and I just deep down inside I know this is my year so hopefully all goes well and yeah hope you guys enjoy this video give it a thumbs up if you like and if you want you can leave me a comment or video response down below tell me your guys's new year's resolutions because I actually like to know what other people's are and then I'll be like hey that's something I should work on too or you know it just it's kind of nice to hear it and I enjoy watching these videos but yeah that's it for now and I will talk to you all later